the I the classic I have this is all bad. Let me restart everything. Hey guys, it's Justin from Delish, and today we're gonna be recreating IHOP pancakes. They are the peak of pancakedom. I love these pancakes. And before we do anything, before we get into the recipe and talk about what sets these pancakes apart, we're gonna try them. First thing off the bat, they're delicious. They're really light, airy, fluffy. There's like almost like a crumbly texture to them. That's amazing. This perfect little butter pat that sits on top, just like really making it like picture perfect. It looks like the picture on the menu and that's exactly what we wanna recreate. So really the things that I'm thinking about are threefold. One, we want these like perfectly like brown uniform tops, not that like leopard printed look that you get when you usually cook pancakes at home. Secondly, I, lo I love the butter pat. It, it spreads perfectly, it looks picturesque. And then third is we want that like fluffy, perfect texture and that little bit of tang from the buttermilk. Um, and that comes along with just like knowing the exact right ratios and not over whisking your batter. So let's get started. First thing we're gonna do, batter. The most important part of this recipe and many other pancake recipes is this big, tall glass of buttermilk right here. What it provides is a level of acidity that helps wake up the baking soda and the baking powder that's gonna be in this batter to help make very light and fluffy pancakes. First, we're gonna go in with our dry ingredients, which is our flour, sugar, baking soda, baking powder. We're gonna whisk that together until it's all combined. Then we're gonna make a little bit of a well put our buttermilk in the middle of that well, then our eggs, whisk that all together, but really don't overmix. Like you just wanna get it so that there are all these big clumps are gone, just getting it mixed together just enough so that it holds together and resembles a batter. And right before we put our whisk away, we're just gonna whisk in our melted butter. Before we even touch the pan, before we even turn on the heat, we're actually gonna preheat our oven. A 200 degree oven, a low oven will actually help to keep them warm, keep them from getting soggy, and now we can actually start making our pancakes. We need two essential tools. One, a really killer nonstick pan. A really good quality nonstick will help to keep it so that you don't need anything to coat the pan so that you can flip them. Delish actually interviewed someone at IHOP to learn how you get that golden, perfectly uniform top and bottom on their pancakes. And they said it's because they actually don't even use any fat. They just cook the pancakes directly on the griddle. And that helps from creating that leopard spotting that you usually see in a normal buttermilk pancake. Secondly, you need a good spatula. I love using something like a fish spatula, something that can really get under there, has a little bit of flexibility to it. We are going to get this up to medium low. You want those pancakes to hit that hot pan, get that beautiful golden brown sear on one side. We're gonna do a half a cup of batter. It doesn't have to be exact. It can kind of be approximate. Once you go in with it, you kind of want to work quickly to use the bottom of the cup to make a circle shape, to make it as round as possible. About four to five inches in diameter. That's usually what you see at IHOP. Um, and once that goes in, don't touch it. Now it's a waiting game. Now we're just gonna let it sit and cook. And basically once you see some bubbles rise as a service, you should see the sides start to pick up and get golden brown. And even if you're feeling especially confident, you can take your spatula, take a little peek underneath, see if you're getting that uniform golden color. And then once you're ready on the first side, you're gonna flip. It should be about two-ish, three minutes on the first side and like a minute and a half on the second. Look at like the perfect, color on it's like uniform it really truly looks like it had just left the restaurant and there's like a good amount of thickness and airiness it truly like looks exactly like an ihop pancake and it's so crazy how it is just like this trick of not over mixing and not using any fat in the pan because we're going to make our whipped butter that we're going to be able to scoop and place on each stack of pancakes pro tip before we go in and whip the butter it needs to be crazy soft it should be able to like put your finger in it, make a little dimple. We're gonna go in, two sticks of butter and two tablespoons of milk. And then we're gonna whip it until it is like nice and like stiff peaks, almost like a whipped cream or a frosting that you can like scoop up 
into a perfect little ball put on your pancakes. Really, really simple. Like imagine my hand is a pancake. That's literally what we wanna be seeing on top of it, right? Like it's gonna be start melting into it, but also like before you put your syrup on, you can spread it really nicely with a butter knife. Like look at this like almost like crummy, like fluffy beautifulness. Pancakes, even though syrup is, pancakes basically are a vessel for butter and syrup and you gotta do it right, so. It takes it over the top. It's exactly what it needs. These are the closest thing that you could get to IHOP pancakes. And I hope the next time that you decide to make pancakes on a Sunday morning, you make these copycat IHOP pancakes. Until next time, guys.